Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, good to be back. It's been a long time, uh, two months, um, and it's been nice. I've had some nice time off. Um, been doing a lot of mixing. Um, sorry, I haven't been sharing it with you, but uh, I have my reasons. Uh, <coughs> I've been mixing for somebody, but I've also been mixing a lot for myself as well. Um, but the recipes are going to be f uh, a lot more few and far between from now on. Um, because I'm mixing for other people, those recipes um, I need to be building towards the best I can put out. And I'm not giving you folks the subpar shit that I don't think is good enough to sell to somebody. Um, so if I do get mixes that I think are exceptional and the other party is not interested in them, I will release them. Uh, but apart from that, I am focusing on that. Um, but I still am mixing every night for myself um, as well. Um, trying all sorts of stuff. So uh, very active there. I've just not been doing the videos, um, not spent much time on the computer, not spent much time up in in this room except for when I sit at the table and mix. Um, I've not been doing much else. But anyway, the whole point of this video is I got Liquid Barn. Uh, they sent me out uh, four new flavors and they are three of them from Mr. Good Vape. And I can't give you a background on who that is. I have heard of him. Um, I've seen his picture on uh, on uh, Liquid Barn, which I've got right here. I think it had his, well, it had a picture on one of the pages. I guess he's got a YouTube channel or something. He must be famous. Uh, I'm really sorry, but I don't look at much else at nowadays. I try and keep myself to myself and just uh, not be influenced by others. Not, not that's bad. I still need to go and learn some stuff from some people, but... Uh, I, I tend to not get around much, but uh, anyway, what I bring to you is my thoughts and it's not uh, clouded by anyone else. So I don't know what any of these taste like. I mixed them as soon as I got them. They arrived last week. I put them in a bottle straight away, um, 10 mil of VG with the um, suggested amount, which is for the Mr. Good Vapes, it's 15%. The other one I got was from uh, DI Dial, DI Dial Y, DIY or Die, um, Mr. Wayne Walker. I really liked this last one, which was um, Quick, which was um, like the Nesquik strawberry milkshake. This one's called Water Malone, so obviously a watermelon, play on words, nice. Um, this one says 10%. I mixed it at 10%. I mixed it exactly what it says on the bottle. And like I said, I've not tried these yet, so this is the first one. First one we're going to do, let's do, do this one. Let's do Melon Head, Mr. Good Vapes Melon Head. Um, Let's make sure that I don't, I suspect to pick this up and vape the concentrate. Um, but it says 15% in there. I've read their site and I've got it right here. Um, melon head, obviously, it's got melon in it. Um, but it's also got papaya and mango cut with uh, fresh citrus. So let's see how that, let's see how that plays out. Okay, it's um, it's very strong. One thing I do find now, he's done. When I say very strong, it tastes to me like a commercial juice. Um, I find the shop bought juices when I get them, especially melons, are extremely strong. Like uh, Cutwoods Monster Melons, I don't actually like it. This is on that line. There's going to be a lot of you that love this. I like the taste though, but it's just a little strong for me. But you get the melon, straight away melon. Afterwards, you do get the, you, you know it's mango. The papaya is always a hard one to pick out for me in a, in a blend, but seeing it's told me it's there, I know it's there, I can taste it. Uh, so you get the melon up front, then you get the mango and papaya, and then I don't get no more melon after that. Once I taste those, so it's nice, they're kind of split up. Melon inhale, mango papaya, after your taste buds have settled down after the melon, um, it comes through really good. So I've got a nice aftertaste that wants me to take another hit. Like I said, just a bit strong for me, but I'd imagine it's going to be spot on for a lot of you. Uh, I have tend to have gone a lot lighter lately. Um, although I've been mixing for someone else, so I've had to elevate the flavors and and cover the 
the commercial juice lines um, with that extra flavor. Um, it's not my thing. I'd rather have it a little lower and taste a few more of those um, back notes and stuff. But uh, but all in all, um, I like it. Nice flavor, uh, just a bit strong. So remember, I'm not stuck there. I'd probably go 10% rather than 15. Um, that's where I'd probably start with that one. But very good profile, exactly like it says. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, on the site, it's Moon Sugar. That's this one here. Let's see what it says about moon sugar. Tantalizing mixture of freshly baked sugar cookie, warm butterscotch, and toasted graham cracker. That sounds nice. Um, moon sugar encompasses the rich and bright flavor of the perfect dessert vape. Crisp sugar cookie drizzled with butterscotch, dusted with graham with ground graham cracker. <laughs> All right, so I'm already imagining that. I'm imagining a crisp cookie, so not anything doughy, um, drizzled, drizzled with butterscotch and dusted with grain, with grain graham cracker. So a cookie with butterscotch and graham cracker on it. Sounds good. Um, let's get it in there. As usual, this video is not... Oh God, <laughs> got an itchy nose. Uh, as usual, nothing's getting edited. No funny business. I think I still got my, because I had to reinstall Windows, but um, most of my stuff I keep on a separate drive, so I should still have my old introduction there, and I should be able to just uh, pick it up and add it. But apart from that, there's not going to be any editing, unless we run out of time. Oh, I've come on really badly shaven as well. Badly shaven, not shaven unshaven scruffy okay let's give it a sniff again i've not tried any of these mm, that does smell nice i smell the the cracker the graham cracker and i get a hint of the butterscotch it doesn't smell very strong but let's see what it tastes like Again, mixed at 15%. They're recommended in um, in uh, 10 mil VG. Again, nice. Oh, God, I've got to do... I'm not editing this. I fucking refuse to edit. There, that pissed you off, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe I'll cut the little bit of sound out there so you don't have... I'll cut the sound out for you. Just in case you're laying in bed watching it next to your wife or something, you scared a piss out of her. That's when I watch my YouTube videos anyway. Um, okay. This one's bold. I wouldn't say it's over-flavoured. It says 15 on it. I'd probably go 12 just because I do like it a little weaker. But um, 15's okay. I could vape 15. Um, it is very nice. It's not as good as Liquid Barn's um, Baker's Touch, which I think is a very close profile, except the Baker's Touch has got cinnamon in it. Which I definitely prefer. I don't get the butterscotch. Okay, I'll, maybe a, a tiny little bit back. After you, after you stop vaping it like now, and I'm not hitting it after about 10, 15 seconds, if I tell my brain there's butterscotch in there, I can taste it. If I didn't know it was in there, I probably wouldn't know what it was. Um, cracker, definitely. Cookie, yes. Um, butterscotch, not quite getting it, but now, now the cracker and cookie has died down. I can start to get the afternotes of butterscotch, but not much. Overall impression, I've tasted better cracker. I've tasted better cookies. But that's not to say this one's bad. It's actually very nice. But it's just not really my... Uh, I don't think it'd be one of my old day vapes. It's not as good as the melon head. Yeah, that's... I'm not... A, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, I'm trying to give you an honest review here. Um, it's it's okay. It's not really my thing. 
But yes, it does taste like graham cracker and cookie. I think it just needs a little bit more butterscotch with it. But of course, it comes in a little bottle like this. You can go ahead and add some if you like. Um, but as a base mix, it would be very good. Let's go ahead and clean this out. And we will go to the Sweet Lovin', which is the next one. Those of you that wonder what I'm doing here, if you've not watched this channel before, you've just not watched me um, taste test things. This is a wickless coil. There's no wick in there. It's just a single coil um, stuck right down as close to the deck as it can get without touching because obviously it would short out. And um, it's just a four strands of twisted wire twisted back on themselves. It's called a, tw a chain link uh, coil, I believe, um, which... If you twist it right, it comes out really untidy, um, which is why I wanted it for this. I wanted it really kind of scruffy, scraggly to hold a lot of juice. This is not the best. If, if I like one of these flavors, I use it just for testing. I wouldn't sit on it vaping it all night. It's just so I can try it and get an idea. I use it on my own. Um, just to give me a taste of it and then if I like it I pull it into a proper RDA with fresh cotton and it's even more enjoyable um, This is a dark horse RDA um, Biggest piece of shit I ever bought um, It really is just not a flavor flavor RDA But the deck is really shallow so it's easy to push this down this coil and get it just above the deck Anyway, that's enough about that. You didn't come here to talk about the Dark Horse RDA. Next one, Sweet Lovin' by Mr. Good Vape. A supreme mixture of the world's best strawberry and watermelon candies cut with a smooth bubble gum. <laughs> Shit. The last thing I made for somebody, which I sent off for last week, one of them was a strawberry melon bubble gum. I was asked for it. It was, um, it was requested. Um, they asked me for it. I made several different... Um, different goes at it i think i made a good job uh, sent on my final with it i think i'd done like version 11 or 12 of it trying to find the right bubble gum from the right manufacturer which actually ended up being i can't tell you what it was but um this one manufacturer good bubble gum uh okay let's smell it first mm, i smell strawberry i smell the bubble gum Okay, this has been mixed. It's steep, just like the other ones. Mixed at 15% into 10 mil of VG. No nicotine. Mmm, I can smell it from there. It smells good. No, I... I don't, it's just far too strong for me it's far too strong and what i should do here i'm gonna go i'm gonna mix these again at 10 percent and probably touch on them again in one of my later videos and just kind of bring them in and say hey this is this is these touching them again so far i like the melon head this one here is just way overpowering if you imagine putting 15 percent of strawberry sweet into a into some uh 50 50 vg pg and vaping it straight after you mixed it that's what I get. Not, uh, I'm sorry, trying to be completely honest with you. I hope this <laughs> this guy's a really nice guy, and he's just, I'm going to feel feel really gutted that I've just slated somebody else's uh, work. But hell, they've sent for me to give them a. Now, if you're if you like your flavors really strong, um, then you'll probably like it. Okay, I vaped that what thirty seconds ago. I'm finally starting to taste a little bit of bubble gum and a bit of melon on the back note. The strawberry is just so strong and in your face that um, it could be anything. It could just be a strawberry vape. Yeah. Not my thing. Okay, I do get the bubble gum now. But it's just so strong. It's just such a bang in my face that um, it loses all its um, low notes. There ain't no low notes. It's all high. It's all just smacking strawberry with some bubble gum in it it just it's left a bitter taste in my mouth i don't it's not my thing uh and it might maybe i'm mixing mine maybe i'm mixing my own stuff weak who knows 
but I've been on just peachy all day, so uh, that one's not exactly a weak mix. But anyway, next one, Mr. Wayne Walker. Um, Water Malone. Uh, this one is mixed at 10%. That's what it says on the bottle. Mixed again in um, 10 mil of VG. Once again, I have not tasted it. Clean. Let's find what it says about it here. Obviously, it's got to be a watermelon with a name like that. That would be pretty obvious. Let's see if it's is it on the front page. Nope. Let's have a look. Flavors. Flavors. Um, taste maker. Is it going to be in the taste maker? DIY or die? There we go. It's got a picture of Wayne here with peanut butter all over his face. Okay, this is a recipe put together out of a need for a real tasting watermelon vape. And trust me, that's not easy. Um, too many watermelons are far too artificial and most uh, and almost medicinal in their flavor. Not watermelon. This is exactly like biting into a fresh ripe watermelon. All the way down to the texture of the pulp when it comes to watermelon. There's no better. Okay, that's, that's saying a lot. Um, if you're going to say that much it better be what it is um watermelons are hard um I, I struggle with them i normally end up putting some honeydew or something in there because the watermelon ain't strong enough and just like you said there you make it strong enough it comes out candied it comes out uh alcohol um it's very hard to get that here's me shaking the concentrate i was about to drip the concentrate again it smells like a candied watermelon Okay, we've got a good dollop in there. Again, this was 10%, which it does say on the side of the bottle. Recommended uh, starting percentage is 10%, and it's in 10 mil VG. Mm. Yeah, now that one didn't blast me away with flavor. I mean that in a good way. Um, yeah it's not exactly like it was described but as watermelons go it is definitely um, better than most I've tried and you do get there is a juiciness with it as for saying right down to the pulp and all that that's nice to as a selling point um i don't get that obviously <laughs> that's a bit much to ask um but what i do get is a it is a, it is authentic as you can get using a flavor concentrate it's very hard to pull off a watermelon they are quite a subtle taste although they're bold you know what they are when you actually eat one they're very obviously watery and there's not a huge amount of taste to them it's just the amount that you're eating that you get so it's hard to pull off with a i think with a concentrate oh dry hit and i can see the damn coil glowing It's one good thing with this, when you get the dry hit, it's not as severe as one with cotton in it. You do get warned about it pretty quickly. Oh dear, I've got something in my eye as well. Yeah. So far... That's probably my favorite one. The melon head, though, is... Well, I say that. I do like the melon head. I think if I mix the melon head at 10%, I think that would probably be my favorite. Um, but as they go with recommended percentages, the DIY or Dye Water Malone is my favorite. Um, it hasn't got that massive alcohol punch to your taste buds and then waiting for taste. As you hit it, you get watermelon. You don't get a bunch of sweetness. Um, you get just the right amount of what you expect from a watermelon, uh, from a watermelon flavor. And it's not that candied. It's not any alcohol taste. The aftertaste is nice. Um, but what I like about it is it's not 
in your face over the top. Some people like the in the face over the top because when I've bought off the shelf juices, um, like um, Monster Melons, I could not stand. I know how popular that thing is. Everybody loves Monster Melons. It was too strong for me. I just really didn't like it. It was kind of lost on me. Um, not my favorite juice. But the Water Malone is very nice. I said, it, I said his last one was very nice. And I'm not here to bullshit you if they don't like them, I tell you. I don't care if it's Wayne or not. I've, I don't know Wayne very well. So uh, I'll tell you what they are. But I think the Water Malone is good. Um, I think you could, if you like the stronger vapes, I think you could use it at 15. Um, if you're a regular DIYer, um, I think we are on a different level to the people that go and buy the stuff off the shelves. Um, I think we tend to appreciate our flavors a little bit more. The, the newcomers into the scene are trying to emulate something they are used to buy off the shelf. I've gone past that now. Yes, I buy Jam Monster. I get some of the beards. I get stuff sent to me. Um, I've just had a company send me a couple um, that they want to... That's the profile they want. Can you make something on it? Um, there are some good ones out there, but I think a lot of the newcomers to DIY are disappointed in DIY because they're not the alcohol over the top, top notes smack to the taste buds that you're used to. Um, because what we do is more refined, I, I think anyway. I think we're more refined, we take our time a little bit more, we worry about tasting these little subtleties in there. We're worried about making them smooth. That's another thing I should say about that. He's put something in there to smooth it out. There's no harshness with it. None of them were harsh, actually. Um, I must say that, none of them, I, but they were strong. But I, I think a lot of newcomers to DIY, it's one of the big complaints that I see is, um, you know, it's not strong enough, or I've tried these and they're not working for me. And I think you just get used to a taste, and when it's not that strong, you just, it's just not doing it for you anymore. Um, and I think it's one of those things that when you get into DIY, you are... Once you've been doing it for a little while, you tend to um, you tend to balance things off a little bit more and want to taste more of the stuff you put in there. The more of a flavour you put in, the more you kill the uh, the back notes, the the mid tones, low tones, however you want to describe them. Um, those subtle back notes are lost. So if you get something like um, say Alpine Strawberry from Flavora, if I put two drops in ten mil. I taste everything. It's just beautiful. If I put five drops in 10 mil, it's not a strawberry I'd care for anymore. Um, it's that sort of thing. It's that sort of balance. Um, getting getting that stuff right. So I think what Mr. Good Vape has done here, I think he's going to really appeal to those people that are just crossing over. Um, when they go to somewhere like Liquid Barn and they want an easy one like this, they don't want to mix their own shit with all these bottles that I got here. They want to grab one of these and stick it in at 15%, add some Fiji and some Nick and go ahead and vape. I think they're going to really appreciate these. Um, I think the rest of you that can't, that, that are, how can I say this? The rest of you that, that uh, like what Wayne does and appreciates what the rest of our DIY stuff does if you're a DIYer most of the time you're DIYing because you're trying to save money and it's fun so um, these um, oh, keep on dropping this shit these things from Liquid Barn they don't appeal to me um, unless I was going to use it as a base but to me this is a complete flavor this is put 15% in vape it but of course I could use it and put something else in with it um, but if you want to if you want to try give it a try I mean this this really nice all of them are nice um, but I think as a DIYer, um, I think this one's a little subtler. Um, I think you get a little bit more. The, it's definitely, um, you get the juicy part. Um, anyway, we're going to finish with that. I ain't got no more to say about it. <coughs> um, but I do quite like that one. Do you know what? Why we're here. What if we've got 25 minutes? Shit, I'm going to run out of time. You know what? I won't do this. I'll do it another time. I still have Quick, The Man, Rocket Man, and Muffin Man over there from when we mixed it two months ago. They are still sat there. They have still steeped. You know what? Something looks wrong with that one. 
No, it was just the way the light was going through the bottle. They have um, they have steeped, and I was worried about one of them. Um, I think it was Rocket Man of uh, the blueberry vanishing because it wasn't that strong to start with. So I want to try them. Um, maybe in the end of one of our next videos, when I don't take so damn long, we'll uh, revisit those and see uh, see how they how they've aged. Shit, that's the smoke alarm stuff right there. All right, leave that. I don't need to do that anyway. We're at the end of the video. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed it, folks. That is my unbiased opinion. Um, I don't know who Mr. V Good Vapes is. I know who Wayne is. Um, but if I didn't like it, I would just tell you I'm not here to try and uh, try and uh, support one of our fellow uh, DIYers. Um, I'm not much in the scene anymore, so I don't owe anyone anything except for Liquid Barn who sent me them and I really do appreciate it and I try and give you my honest opinion. Uh, keep sending me that stuff. I enjoy, I enjoy receiving them. The next video will be probably Flavors Express, um, sweet rice, mango, green tea and lemon. So uh, look out for that one. Um, it may be tomorrow night, maybe the next night, maybe in two weeks, but it'll be coming. Um, anyway, glad to be back. Glad to be here doing another video. And... Uh, yeah, come back and visit me. Go over to Liquid Barn. They've got some real good shit over there. And I believe they got... I, I did see something the other day. Something come through on my email. And it was Liquid Barn. And I had a quick look. And it looked like... Actually, they asked for a survey. I think it was. They asked for what you wanted next. Do you want something from Cutwoods? Do you want this? Do you want that? A jam monster? And they were asking for um, a vote of what you would like next in a one-shot form. So... Uh, if there's one you're looking forward to, like if you want Jam Monster on the cheap, or you, you want to just go ahead and mix it yourself with one of these, um, go over and vote for it. If it's the cut woods that you want, um, I don't know which one it was, whether it's Monster Melons or Unicorn, I think it's Unicorn Milk. But if it's one of those, you know, go over and vote for it, um, and they'll probably try and, and get it in. So uh, anyway, thanks for Liquid Barn. Thanks for you folks. Um, appreciate your support. Uh, and I'll be back real soon, I guess. Um, take care of yourselves.